Hey, welcome back everybody. We have another TTM video to get to. We're getting autographs TTM or through the mail. We've got seven to get to today. We get autographs through the mail simply by sending our favorite athletes, celebrities, chewed up envelopes. <laughs> no, we didn't send it like that, but we received it like that. Hopefully it's okay. Usually it is. Sometimes you'll get a beat up envelope that gets stuck in the machinery or what have you at the postal service. First one's up at Denver, Colorado. We'll save that broken one for last. Denver, Colorado. Vern Lundquist, Swede to Michael. Best witches, Vern Lundquist. Signed the 89 Pro Set. Many thanks to uh, Scott Spalding for getting this one. I never even knew Vern Lundquist signed, and then Scott got him a couple weeks ago. I thought, I know I have an 89 Pro Set card, because I opened so much of that over the years. See if I have a Vern card. I did, and I sent it to him. He signs it in silver Sharpie. That's pretty sweet. He's 81 years old, long time play-by-play -play broadcaster for several sports. I don't know. What do you know him best as? Football? Basketball? Does a lot of college basketball. Golf? Last 50 years, really. Still doing golf. I think he's retired from football and basketball now, but still doing golf and uh, had a guest appearance as himself in Happy Gilmore. 15 days, no fee for that one. Pretty sweet. Thank you, Scott. Atlanta Metro. That's the thing when you watch other people's videos, you get ideas. You think, man, that guy didn't sign. Keith Sims on the 92 game day. That's pretty sweet. Love that set. Puts his number in his little swoop. 91 Pacific, 92 game day. He's 54 years old. Played for 11 seasons. All the way through the 90s, 1990 to 2000. Dolphins drafted him. He played there for a long time, eight of those years, I think. Then he finished up with the Redskins. Three times in the Pro Bowl for Keith Sims. Pretty good offensive guard. Protected Dan Marino. And uh, ended up in the Pro Bowl three times. Over a month for him. Let's see, 33, 4, 38 days. But there's no fee for Keith Sims. Next up, Seattle, Washington. Seattle. Lenny Wilkins, nice. Got that big tall boy signed by him. It's back-to-back -back tall boys. And uh, three times, we just got him through the mail, I think on Friday's video, from Deal Troy the Dealmaker Kernan sent us a Lenny Wilkins card, and I remarked that he's the only person in the Hall of Fame three different times, three different ways, as a player in 89, as a coach in 98, and as a member of the Dream Team, the 1992 basketball U.S. Olympic basketball team in 2010. So he was inducted three different times. Really great prayer. Nine times in the uh, All-Star game as a player, and he won 1,300 games as a coach, and, of course, he was heavily involved in the Dream Team as an assistant coach and for a couple different Olympics. And I mentioned before, I got that back in 10 days really quick. No fee required. But I mentioned if you send a cash donation or even a check uh, donation to this Lenny Wilkins Foundation, he will inscribe. That's probably why I got the Hall of Fame inscriptions. Otherwise, he'll just usually just sign his name. Which isn't bad either for a three-time Hall of Famer, but uh, throw in a little donation to his foundation, and you'll get the inscriptions. And that's really quick, too. Ten days. Ten days. No fee required, but is suggested by moi. Next up, Santa Clarita! They're always partying over there. Santa Clarita! Many Mota. Did he sign? He did sign. And there's three 271s. And a 66. Got that heart monitor autograph. You got to love it. Did he sign my note? He did not, but he included it. He doesn't want my note. Who cares, right? <laughs> Manny Moda. He's getting up there in age as well. Lenny Wilkins was 84. Moda is 84. He played for 20 seasons as a player. The starter very early in his career, I'll put these 271s together. Put those back there. 
and uh, was a starter for five or six years with the in the center fielder with the Buckos. As you see there, 115 games, 121 games in 64 and 65. And uh, was out there with two future Hall of Famers. Stargell was in left field. And Clemente was in right field. And Manny Moto was in center. Then the Buckos got uh, Matty Alou and decided they could trade Manny Moda. But yeah, he claimed to fame as probably as a Dodger. He played there from 69 to 82, I think. Or 69 to 80. And became a record-setting pinch hitter with the Dodgers. And then won two World Series as a coach, 81 and 88. Coached for the Dodgers for more than 30 years. And he's from the Dominican Republic, I believe. Yeah, Santo Domingo, Dominican Republic. And he is in the uh, Caribbean Baseball Hall of Fame, inducted there in 1998. Really quick return from him, too. Seven days, no fee for Manny Mota. Portland, Oregon up next. Portland, Oregon. What are you doing, Jack Hyatt? He's got a nice signature. He kind of uses a calligraphy pen. 71. Got a little smudge there on the Hyatt. 68. Got four. And that's 73 there. It's got some ink loss. 70 is really sharp. Pretty cool. 4-4. Four, four, Jack Hyatt. Catcher for a long time. He's 79 years old. Played for nine seasons. 64 to 72. Handful of teams. Five years with, with the Giants. And after his playing career, he became a manager in the minor leagues. And uh, for a long time, won about 500 games as a manager in the minor leagues. Then he became the Giants' uh, head of player development in the Giants' system. And uh, finally retired after about 20 years with them in 2007. Just over three weeks, 24, 25, 26 days, no fee. Jack Hyatt, 26 days, no fee. Next up. Well, Memphis. Well, thank you. Thank you very much. Come to Memphis. Memphis, Tennessee. Sammy Smith, he signed him. Nice. Got a nice signature. Thin blue Sharpie. Those are some nice cards, too. He was a first-rounder at the... One of the first guys, he was like 240 pounds and ran a 4'3 or 4'4'40 4, 4, back in 89, which, I mean, you see that a lot now, but back in 89, that was kind of <laughs> scary for defensive guys trying to tackle him, but uh, kind of revolutionary back then. I think he may have run on the track team at Florida State. Yeah, 55 years old. Just four short seasons in the NFL, three of which were the Dolphins. He drafted him in the final season in Denver. Got in a little trouble in his personal life after his playing career. I think he's straightened himself out now. Signing through the mail. First time we've ever gotten him. Just under 2,000 yards in his career. 16 touchdowns. Exactly two weeks, 14 days, no fee, Sammy Smith. First time we've gotten him. Here comes the, the envelope here. May just have to rip this one open. Oh, it came open. It came open. There's Richie Zisk. Nice. He double signed on the Fred Cambria sign of cards. 72 tops. I think he's got a 73. He <laughs> no blank cards. Okay. Most of the time I just put the blank index cards in there for some support during mailing. And if I get a signature, um, you know, that's just a bonus. But he's not going to sign the blank cards. A lot of guys have been trained. Don't sign blank cards because they can be used as cuts or copied and forged somebody's signature. So I understand that. No problem, Richie Zisk. 73-year-old outfielder. Played for the Buckos system. Great minor leaguer here in Charleston in AAA for the Pirates. And, of course, we just talked about the Pirates outfield. Stargell. Um... Uh, Clemente, two future Hall of Famers, and then Al Oliver was in center field, another potential future Hall of Famer. So it was tough to crack the starting lineup, and he was down here in Triple A, hitting 30 homers a year, just uh, setting the world on fire. And finally, of course, after Roberto's death in 72, he was able to play in the 73 season, but he was down here in the minor leagues just setting the world on fire. Played for the Pirates six seasons, 71 to 76, and then was traded and became a two-time All-Star instantly. 
White Sox and Rangers in 77 and 78. Really, really great career. 1,500 hits, over 200 home runs in his career, about 250 doubles. So really good stick for a long time. Seven days. There's a $5 fee for Richie Zisk and uh, no blank cards. No index cards. Well, that's it. Pretty quick. What do you think? Let me know down below. Give me a thumbs up, of course. Helps the algorithm. And uh, leave a comment, of course, down below. I'd love to read your comments always. And uh, let me know which are your favorite. And let me know if you've sent a fee to Lenny Wilkins and received those inscriptions. And, of course, if you haven't subscribed yet, right there, we're having a 1,000 subscriber giveaway coming up real soon. You have to be a subscriber to win that one. So hit that and then hit that notification bell and you'll be notified of all my future videos. And if you missed last week's uh, Thursday's TTM video, I'll leave a link to that right there. Have a great week, everyone. Thanks for being with me and we'll see you soon.